Hello everyone and welcome to the first Brian Moore Head Teachers blog. First and foremost I hope your family is safe and well and that you're following all of the government guidance that they're giving out over the last few weeks. There are three key reasons for this blog. One, to provide reassurance to parents as you get to grips with homeschooling and all of that entails. To give a clear message to the boys about what was expected of them from working at home. And to make sure that we continue to work together as a Brymore family and support each other through these really quite tricky times. So to you first parents, homeschooling is tough. One thing that has emerged from me is a deeper respect for the work done by primary colleagues. As a parent of a year through three boy, who knew that maths could be so tough? Clearly I'm getting old because the way they're doing maths at school nowadays is not like it was when I was at school. But me and my wife are teachers and yet we're also struggling with homeschooling, working from home and all of the other demands that are on a normal family life. So if you're finding it difficult, not sure which work to do first or how best to support your son, then you're not alone. So my advice to you as parents is to work on the following priorities. Firstly, make sure your family is safe and well. Not just by following government guidance about not going out, social distancing and washing your hands, but also by looking after the mental health of your family. This is crucial and leads me on to my second priority. The new restrictions mean that most of us spend more time together as a family. Make the most of it. Spend time together watching a film, playing a board game, eating together, going out in the garden, even playing a console game. Whatever, as long as it's something you're doing together. Brymore can be really intense, and now is the time to make the most of this enforced downtime. Time with your family. And thirdly, and it is thirdly, try to complete some of the work and activities that are set by staff. However, use your own judgement on this, and be assured that there will be no judgement from us if all of the work or some of the work is not completed. Helping in the garden, making something, doing Joe Wicks, baking, Reading for pleasure, these are all wor worthwhile activities. The school work is provided there to support you, and it's not meant to be a straitjacket. In order to make the whole experience more manageable, I suggest you try to get into some sort of routine. That said, I've not managed that myself yet. But certainly, leave weekends as weekends. Take all the pressure off as there's no need to do schoolwork. The same for Easter holidays. I'm looking forward to waking up without being faced with fractions with an eight-year-old especially one who's better at it than me. Finally, my advice to you as parents is if you're unsure about something, you have the email addresses and contact numbers of key staff. We are genuinely here to help. And listen, we are in this together, and I thank you for your continued support. Boys, now is the time to show what a Brimal boy is all about. I expect you to take responsibility and follow the guidelines set out by the government by staying in and not going out. More than that, responsibility means helping out at home. Working from home and looking after children is not easy for your parents. Your job is to make it easier. We are all eating at home more. So help clear away the dishes, load the dishwasher, unload the dishwasher, mow the lawn, make your bed, make sure your clothes are where they should be when you go to bed at night. Help keep the house tidy, put the bins out. All of these things will make life easier, easier for your parents. Every way you help out makes it easier for them and your family. Brimal boys are also resourceful. And so when completing your schoolwork, if you're stuck, try and find ways around it. And if not, try another task if your parents are unable to help you. But you can read every day, do some exercise and do Hegarty Mass. Everything you do when you return will help make life easier. And finally, boys, resilience is needed. This could go on for a while and you must stick at it over the coming weeks. Boys, remember, diligenta e labora. You get nowhere without hard work, whether you're being watched or not. Keep working hard, helping out at home, joining in family activities, being tolerant and completing some of the tasks set by your teachers. Boys, believe it or not, staff would actually rather be at school working with you than trying to teach you remotely. However, we must make the most of the situations we are faced with. We are looking forward to the school getting back to normal, whatever that may be. But in the meantime, boys, remember, once a Brimal boy, always a Brimal boy, whether you're at school or whether you're working from home. Finally, to all of the Brimal family, stay safe and keep in touch.